Hi lovelies, it's Textured and it's Tina. Welcome back to another video. So guys, for today's video, I am going to show you guys how I take down my mini twist. It has been 8 weeks now, 2 months to be precise and I'm going to go ahead and take it down. So guys, this video is going to be about how to take your mini twist down without breaking your hair because if mini twist is a great way to retain length but if you do not take care of it while sticking it down you are going to be breaking your hair and not retaining length so with that being said guys let's dive right into the video so i'm going to go ahead and moisturize my hair this is a very very simple routine all i do is get some heavy butters like shea butter with a little bit of oils and then add some water to it and then mix it up this routine helps the hair to relax so i just do not skip this so this is how i prepared it and this is how it looks like very 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 thick so i go ahead and spray my clothes hair water into it and then the next thing that i'm going to do is to coat my twist my mini twist with my butter so guys, in another video, I'm going to show you how to make this butter. You can use aloe vera. The point is, what you are adding should be liquid. So aloe vera, cloves, water, rosemary water, you can go ahead and apply it. I mean, add it to your butter. In another video, I'm going to show you how to make it. So I'm going to go ahead and relax my hair. Let it relax, get my butter in there, get my oils in there, so that my hair can relax and be soft, and I can go ahead and take it down. The point is coating all my hair strands, all my mini twists with the butter and then separating it and working in sections. So first things first, the ends of the hair. They are very, very delicate, susceptible to breakage. And guys, you really have to go up your ends because I want to retain length and I don't want to get split ends. So it's very, very important. If your hair is in mini twist, if you want to grow your hair in mini twist, this step is very, very important. Just tease the ends of your hair a little bit and let it loose before you start unbraiding the ends and make sure to coat it with a little bit of oil just to let it relax before you start so little by little we are moving on just work your fingers into it and start to remo removing the hair that has tangled at the ends one by one because at the end of the day you want to retain length and not get split ends so i really take my time to work my ends make sure that i have taken all the tangled hair out if i see it tangled sometimes i go ahead and cut it out and if i can work it out with my hands i really take my time so the reason why i like to work my hair in sections this is it i section my hair into four so if i finish one section and i'm tired i just rest because i do not want to go into my hair when i am tired So taking my time and working, some of the hair gets interlocked. So just working the middle part of the hair that has tangled helps you a lot, so that your hair is not gonna break. As you can see, I'm really, with it. I'm really, really like taking my time. So the middle part of it, some of the hair gets tangled. So just work it as you go i'm looking into the mirror as i am doing this so you realize i'm not really focusing in the camera sorry i don't want to break my hair so this is how i take down my mini twist first i really moisturize my hair with a heavy butter to make my hair relax the next thing that i do is section my hair and i really work my ends tease my ends a little bit more before I start unraveling my mini twist. In that way, you'll be able to retain much length. So you can see, I'm really taking my time to work on the hair that is tangled between the two braid outs. Or oh, let me say a twist up here. Yeah. So 
Before I leave you guys to watch the video, mini twists are one of the best protective styles for natural hair because they give your natural hair a break from daily manipulation. They help your hair to hold on to more moisture longer and keep it tangle free. Low maintenance hairstyles really allows the hair to rest as there's less manipulation. I love mini twists and everything twist. I also do medium twists, large twists. I tend to um, juggle in between them. They are also a protective style, meaning they help preserve your ends. Also, it can be worn by anyone, saves time, promotes the growth of healthy hair, and is stopped hair. The lesser the protective style, it helps you to retain better moisture and it helps your hair to break less. So I like to juggle in between mini toys, medium toys, and large toys. So guys, um, before I leave you guys to watch the video, I just wanted to say that just moisturize your hair before you take a mini twist. They will help your hair to grow. You are not gonna get breakage, and your hair is gonna get longer. So guys, whenever I take my mini twist, I wear them for a week because I can't just go ahead and detangle. So I wear, I wear them for a week from Monday to Friday and then Friday nights I section it into four and then detangle my hair into Saturday morning and I treat my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I detangle my mini twist in another video. Yeah, I'm going to make a video on that and show you guys. So guys, people my family i'm going to leave you guys to watch the video and i hope you guys learned something from it like i said if you have any other routine that you do before taking nail twist just let me know in the comment section below i would just appreciate to hear your thoughts on this i'll see you at the end
okay so this is how my hair looks after taking down the mini twist um i must say it looks a little bit flatter but the moment what i get in there is gonna be big but i do not want that because the moment i put water on my hair without any butter anything is going to be tangled so this is how it looks like yeah i'm going to go ahead and then put it in a bun sleep and then wear it up for my week and i'll show you guys how i detangled my hair thank you